a customer that's racing a very unique car. They came to us and said, we need something special. The Big Red Camaro is a classic car, but run like a modern racing team would run it. My name is uh, RJ Gottlieb. I'm the driver of what's known as the Big Red Camaro uh, behind me here. Uh, it's a project car that actually me and my dad started back in the late 80s and we've been racing it ever since. We're always looking for new challenges and new places to go. And the team can get the car ready, but I gotta get myself ready. And these simulators really give me a chance to get myself ready without wearing the car out, breaking parts, getting my whole team together just to bring the car out to a track that we're renting during the week to get me to practice on it. That's a big effort. The Pikes Peak, which was a lifetime dream of mine to compete in. But one of the challenges of doing it is that it's a 12 mile course. It's 156 turns and it's a public highway. So it's very hard to get uh, a chance to practice it. And it's the type of thing, if you want to go fast at Pikes Peak, you got to know what's coming around the turn that you can't see. And the only way to do that is to have it completely memorized. It's really a, a perfect thing to be able to get onto an electronic simulator that simulates the actual car I have and be able to just practice it over and over and over again. The custom pieces that they wanted were totally different than what we normally do. So the most challenging part was probably integrating them into a chassis that was never designed to, to accommodate them. Like a, a good example would be the overhang pedal system. We had to completely design a whole new frame to accommodate those pedals and that position, the angles, the pressures, everything was totally different from a modern GT race car. And getting those to fit right and behave right for this car was, uh, was a challenge in itself. There's a plethora of information on the car. I, you know, we never dreamed that we'd actually be able to, to put it into a computer and have it, you know, replicate an experience of actually driving Big Red. Chris is like, hey, um, let's use the wheel you actually use in Big Red. And I'm like, hey, great, you know, let's use the actual shifter, you know, it's a four speed, so let's do a four speed. What seat do you guys use? What seat belts do you use? And that all these things, we could bring them all in and really get even just the, tactile feel to be similar to the real deal. The seat is a old school Kirky aluminum seat. We had to integrate that seat, uh, attach the motion system, redo the geometry for the motion system to match that seat. Uh, then we had to connect a very specific type of uh, gated shifter in a certain position. And then we did a uh, in-game model of the car and all of its different configurations based on all the physics data that they provided us, which they actually had an overwhelming amount of data. When you drive this simulator, you are in the seating position with the same controls as the real car, and you are driving that car at that track in the game model as well. <laughs> For the racer, it's something that was just never possible before and has really come of age now with CXC. I think when people buy a, a, a CXC simulator, they know that they're getting a, a level of quality and accuracy and customization that they can't get anywhere else. You know, you're getting a simulator that one, is as accurate as it possibly can be. Right? We dive into the details, everything from the physical to the in-game models, everything. Uh, but then it comes down to build quality, right? Every piece is agonized over fit and finish and color and everything. Um, but then it comes down to support as well. I mean, we stand behind every product we build and we stand by it forever. Yeah.